Welcome back to the manor. Julian McBain here, and we are on our third of three. What? Barbarella hunts. 25 pad. And I'm going to be talking about what is going on in the world of Julian here in just a minute. But before we get started, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the manor. Please take a moment and subscribe down below. We are on the road to 13 million subscribers, one subscription at a time, so make sure you subscribe. Also, please make sure you go to patreon.com slash julianmcbain if you want to support my work. If you do, you'll get the modern entropian and personal finance for gamers, plus exclusive content. And I am actually prepping the May video, and we'll be here shortly. Because it's very important that I put out that content on time. Deciding what that's going to be. That is probably on the docket for next weekend. So. That is the plan. In the meantime though. Let's talk about what is going on in the land of Julian. So for those of you who don't know. A uh, couple of things. I managed to dig out my old PS2. And my 13 year old has been playing it. And I think it's really cool that he actually found games that he enjoys. Uh, Red Faction, for those of you who are not aware, is the uh, is the one he really keyed in on. The funny thing is, though, is that he didn't like he started playing, and then he found out there's no auto save function. Yup. That was a sad time for him. Actually, I was I had forgotten about it, so I actually felt bad. I'm like, oh, I should have told him there's no auto save. I forgot. So, and then in other news, we have completed the Cafes challenge. So after these videos with the uh, the Barbarella, and then I'm going to be doing the same with Bukins and doing a comparison for Science TM. We're going to be moving over to Tab Taps, which I have been hunting. I'm up to rank 12 with tab taps, so I'll be able to kill these cute little fuckers. Oh, crap. I'm not wearing any armor because I didn't need it when I was fighting tab tabs. Yeah, these guys are totally different. <laughs> Oops. And you know, that's something that's that's actually easy to do, is not realize that you are hunting... You know, you, you go in, you hunt something, and you're hunting it for a long time, and then you go to hunt something else, and you forget, and you, you're wearing the wrong armor, or you're not wearing armor at all. It's an easy mistake to make, like I did here. I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't die from my stupidity, but that's okay. It's okay. I'll see if we can't make up for it a little bit. Good gracious. Uh, one of the things I was able to do and I was really happy with is I picked up one of these uh, Hilka knives earlier and I actually burned through it to help drive up my knife fighting skills just a little bit. I'm pretty sure short blades, so if I don't know this for sure, but from what I can tell is that each weapon type complements its opposite number, meaning rifles and handguns go hand in hand. They're both shooting weapons, but of course, one shorter range and faster firing versus the other. Likewise, short blades and long blades would go hand in hand. No pun intended. And so what I think it is, is that the, the long weapons, so the long, so the long blades and the rifles are your hit weapons. They focus on hit skill building. And conversely... Your short weapons, your your knives and your pistols, would be your focus on damage. Now, this isn't a guarantee. I'm not saying that's the actual way it works. And as you can see from my combat professions, where are pistols? Rifles, power fist, pistols, pistols. Handgun. Here it is. I have spent no time with handguns. Far less so than, say, short blades. Which I've actually got a pretty good handle on. 
It's not as good as my rifle, it's not as good as my long blade, of course, which nothing is. But it's not bad. I really need to spend a little more time on pistols to even out a lot of my skills. And honestly, that's what, if you're new to the game, that's what you should do is, and I, I honestly stole this advice from Lore Spade, so don't be, um, think I came up with this on my own. But, you really should plow through all of the TT weapons to level 10. Like, every weapon that is in the TT, use it until you hit level 10 with it. And then swap. There's a couple of advantages to this. One, it'll help bring up all of your skills to a certain extent. Okay? So let's take a look at my combat professions. I don't even know that I have any that are under level 10 anymore. Uh, cryogenic kit is still only level 9. That's the only one that's that low. Which means I should probably pick up a cryogenic chip and, and grind it out a little bit. My paramedic's only 11... Because I don't use faps, I use chips. Um, but you'll notice that like, even my whipper is 17. Cryogenic damage is 16, even though my hit is awful. I'm even decent with freaking grenades, apparently, even though I've never really used them. But they all, a lot of these complement each other. And my dodger skills, eh. Not that I fa not that you really face a lot of um, ranged enemies. Oh god! If I'm looking at my uh, mind force here, and it's just embarrassing. Well, I've got some I've got some decent chips on me. I just don't use them. I've got the pyrokinetic, which I think is my best one. Am I actually in the zone for that one? Seventeen to twenty-two. Yeah. Technically, I'm in the zone for Pyrokinetic 5, or Combustive Attack 5. That's, that's not bad. And I've got this Electro Attack 6 that I don't think I'm in the zone yet for. Yeah, not even, oh no, I am. No shit. Really? I mean, of course, I'm not quite using it super efficiently yet, but that means I'm in the, um... It's close enough. I'm in the learning period. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. So yeah, maybe that's something I should look at focusing a little bit on is my um, my mind force. I have not spent nearly as much time as I really should have on it. I always th I thought about being like the, the proverbial mind force wizard. Like I use a, a regeneration five. If I'm going to get a Regeneration 6, I need to do Mission Galactica, which I have yet to do. I think I've got all of the sweat I need for it on Calypso, I'm fairly sure. But Stage 2 is the Animal Muscle Oil, then it's Animal Eye. And of course, I can find Dread Castamir on that stupid asteroid that's just around the bend here. Um, Howling Mine, I think it's called. Let's take a look. Space, it's too close, a little too close. Right here. Howling Mine, yep. So, I mean, I could get a good chunk of it. And I don't know if it's on, like, you get a three. I think you get a three once you finish these three. And then after the next three, you get a, a regenerative six. Or, res yeah, regeneration six. And I think it's after you complete it all, you get a nine or a ten. Like, it's it's a long mission chain. You, you do some serious work for it. And it's the only global mission chain in the game. game. And from what I understand, it's actually repeatable. Which is cool. But I've been meaning to get a, regen or a regenerative 6. And you can't find them on the shops. I don't know if they're not tradable, which I would assume they are tradable. But who the hell would want to get rid of them? No. 
And I'm a fairly respectable healer. Like, I've come up against people with, um, with serious skill points who respect my healing ability. But you can always do better, you know? You can always do better, and that's what I'm aiming to do. Oofta. Our returns aren't terrific. Yeah, that happens. Actually, my returns have been not great as of late. And I think it's partially because just circumstance. Um, one thing I did do is I did a bunch of hunting with my Katsuichi Honor. One to work on my long blade skills. Whoops, no 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 no. That's habit. Um my long blade skills a bit. But the other reason is because I wanted to convert PED into Universal Ammo and see if it was more efficient to do it that way than to, um, you know, sell and then buy ammo. In the long run, I think it's six of one half dozen of the other. The, the benefit is that I continue to work on my long blade skill. I wouldn't be using it against, like, the tab tabs because why? I could cough on a tab tab and kill it. But it, it was interesting. Speaking of which, where are my where's my power fist skill? Profession, combat. Is it martial arts? Power fist. Okay, actually it's a lot more respectable than I thought, considering it's something no one uses. And I'm not pissing on power fists. I actually wish that more they were more prevalent. I know on Monria. You can get the uh, the two-handed power fist. That's the boxing gloves, which I don't think has any real power behind it, but it's the premise where it's a it's a um, you're you're wielding case two weapons at the same time. They're, the the formal terms for those are Florentine or case. Florentine, I I mean obviously it comes from Florence, but. I don't know why it came, the term Florentine, fighting Florentine, came up. I know that's how a lot of armored people, people do armored fighting, like in knight's armor, call it. Uh, in fencing, we call it fighting case, because when you buy, back in the day, rapiers were put in cases in pairs, because they were du you would duel with them. And you always had two identical swords to make sure they couldn't be tampered with or shit like that. So it was called fighting case. And... It's also known as fighting with a brace, because for whatever reason, two of anything is called a brace. But you fought case. And I know people who are really good at fighting case. I used to be okay at fighting case. My problem is, is I have a hard time keeping my swords out of each other's way. So one always ends up being more defensive. Uh, my my forte is fighting uh, sword and dagger. And in particular, sail-hilted dagger. That's the, the school that I I teach, actually. Used to teach. Is called Black Tiger. And you can actually look the Black Tigers up right on YouTube. Black Tiger Fencing. You can actually see examples. You'll have uh, one of our guys had a, um, uh, what the fuck's it called? GoPro on a gimbal on top of his helmet. So you can actually see what it looks like to fence from his point of view. And, uh, but it's, you use the, the hilt, the sail hilt that covers your hand. To protect your hand, you almost use it like a shield, and the dagger itself is a weapon, of course. And, um, tangents. Oh, but anyway, going back to the matter at hand, only Monria has the one weapon in the game that's two weapons, right? I can't equip two weapons. I would love to, f to be able to have a set of weapons in this game where it's like a sword and dagger because that's totally my jam. I would totally do that in this game. And I think it would make a certain amount of sense. The way the game is designed, it would have to be a single item as a paired weapon. So it would have to be like um, swashbuckler's blades. And it would be a sword and a dagger. And it would be two weapons. And that's it. And they'd have to come up with the animation for it. And shit, mind arc. I would totally do that. <laughs> I would totally help you with that. Um, I know I, I get a, I geek out a lot with swords I'm aware of this I'm not ashamed like not at all 
Would, would you have me any other way? Oh, here I am. I wanted to check uh, OBS for a second, make sure it was recording right. I ended up fucking everything up. What else is new? Um, but yeah, so I think one of the things that needs to happen, and this is something I don't, like, I'll go through spats where I'm just, like, doing laid-back hunting like this, and then I'll go through periods where I'm, I'm just hard at it, hardcore, all in hunting. Uh, one of the times that I really do that is around migration and then a lot of the mayhem. So you'll notice during mayhem, I'm pretty much all in. I didn't do Easter mayhem. I just, I wasn't feeling it. It was too short a time. Christmas may, or uh, Merry Mayhem really has the, the length down, which did I, did I do Merry Mayhem? I thought I did Merry Mayhem. Yeah, because I got all those Christmas boxes. I did marry me, Um. The Mayhems are good, but the, the one I'm usually, like, hardcore on is Migration, of course. And, I don't know, the last couple of years, I feel like Mindark hasn't really put the effort into Migration that they used to. It's really disappointing. Now that I'm here on 2-1, and I've been here since January, and I'm grinding... And part of the reason I'm grinding is because I kind of want one of those pages. And by kind of, I mean I really want one of those fucking pages. So, I'm going to keep working on it. Are you okay, dude? Like, like seriously? <laughs> I want me a place to live. And actually, I've, I've set the dosh aside. If the right place comes up, i probably just buy it. But currently, the only places that have really come available on, are on Calypso. And there is one that I'm, I'm contemplating. It's an H apartment in one of the towers. Now, the thing about H apartments in the towers is that they are the largest, if I remember correctly. I believe they're the largest because they have both the the large side room and they have a balcony. And if I'm going to put the dosh down for an apartment on Calypso, that's what's going to do it. Uh, the alternative is I would love one of the homes at Atlas Haven because they're these giant fucking palatial estates. Or one of the beach homes up in Corinth. Which would to I would totally do. Uh, unless, of course, the big fuck-off castle comes up for sale. Because that'll happen. I'll put myself in the soul-crushing debt for that son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Knowing, knowing my luck, someone would put it up for like fucking $5,000. If I'm going to do that, I may as well just buy myself the... Uh, the fuck's it called? The... Um, not Pathfinder, not Starfinder. Next one, Privateer. That Privateer that came up for six thousand five hundred U.S. dollars. Oh, and, and you know, I was tempted. If I had, if I had worked at it, I could have scraped together the money, and I would have been paying for it for the next ten years. And part of me thinks it would have been worth it. Not gonna lie. But the responsible adult in me knew better. And even though, even though I desperately wanted it, I didn't bid on it. I was good. I was a good boy. So, we're actually coming up to the end of this run. Yeah, we're down to, what, three ped? We'll do one more mob after this, just to make sure we have a bit of a buffer. And then we'll pop back over and see what our final has yielded us. I'm not thrilled. Well, uh, I think we're going to be short five ped. No, I think we're going to be short seven. We'll pull one more and then call it. One of the things I am going to be talking about in the next video when I start doing the Bukins one is the missions and how the skills that you can accumulate from them. 
because I was in shot like currently with like tab tabs on 12, 12 and a half peck, uh, Kafash, 90 peck, Kafaz, 25 ped. I could sit here and just farm these fuckers all the time. And, and I'm telling you, I'm tempted. I'm tempted to just sit here and farm these sons of bitches repeatedly. And, and I'm going to go into this more later on. But I wish I could also view what my, um, my Calypso ones were. Like, that's the one thing that irritates me about the Codex. You have to be on... Oh, apparently I've got a meta. Agility or Strength. I'll figure that out after. Ah, oh, where was I? There, there's so much more that can go into this, but I mean... Look at all the options. The only one in here that's not in here is basically Stamina. Which, honestly, is kind of irritating. But dodge is here. And that, a dodge and evade, that's a lot of evade. 7.81 ped per cycle? That's a lot of friggin' evade. And then perception's 15.62. That's a lot of perception. That's really good for your looter skills. And then 25 for your top tier stuff, your, your upper level stuff. So you're like your, your short blades, your long blades. It's... Your dexterity, your combat reflexes. And 15.62 for courage, that's a lot of track towards your hit points. Like, no joke, courage has a direct effect on your health. And so that's something I'm really going to be exploring in the next bit. Oh god, are we actually going to make it through this? Come on. That was sodding close. Okay. Good return on him, though. That could have made the difference. Probably not, though. We'll head back. We'll do a count up. But yeah, I'm thinking that if you. If you find the right mob, you can just grind hunt them and just completely blast out skill points, which I think is actually going to have a negative impact on the skill point market, but not by as much as people might fear. I, I would love to go back and check it against my Barry Clid Codex. But I'm also doing tab tabs, and once I'm done tab tabs, I'm going to compare what the tab tabs offer to what the cafes offer, because there's got to be a there's got to be some form of economy there. Like there has to be some relative amount where what you know something is going to provide more than something else, and so I want to see what that is. Night time. Oh, you know what? Once I'm done with this, I'm actually going back to do some tab tab hunting. Okay, so let's take a look at what we. 14.68. Plus a pitiful 1.0. Oh no. 12 pack. Oi. That's that's terrible. That's 14.8 ped in revenue out of 25 with 6.94. Oh, we lost 17.14 ped. Which actually really bites because that really affects our um, average because it was 17.14, 8.7, and 6.7.
which means we actually lost an average of 30 ped per run. That, that actually hurts. That hurts a lot. Um, I'm going to say this is likely a statistical outlier, but that matters. Like, a lot. So, okay, well, shit. And I know shit happens, but shit. That's depressing. Well, I suppose. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Please, please like, share, and subscribe down below. We are on the road to 13 million subscribers, one subscription at a time, so make sure you subscribe. And a huge shout out to my patrons, Red Kryptonite, Jay Lambertson, Spectrum 3900, and Legends of T. Thank you so much all for all of your support, welcoming Legends of T to my patrons list, and you all have a wonderful day. We'll see you in the next one.